There are a lot of myths about what it's like to be a Texas Army National Guard soldier. I had a chance to catch up with Sergeant Jeff Messina, who shares his experience as a soldier who's deployed, serves his community through entrepreneurship, why he's so passionate about martial arts, which has led him to over two decades of practicing jujitsu and opening up schools in the Houston area. I started jujitsu in 1997, so it's been 23 years. I started as a hobby. I wanted to learn how to do that UFC stuff that you saw on TV. <laughs> and it developed into a bigger passion and a career. So um, it took over my life. I ended up opening gyms and it changes people's lives. So I, I initially started to be a fighter and I'm still a fighter. I still compete, but I've seen how it's impacted people from ages three to senior citizens, all walks of life. It gives you a sense of belief in yourself. It changes your mental and physical ability. It does so much for you. Um, it gives everyone a um, an outlet to relieve stress. It gives everyone a sense of belief. So um, there's a saying called success gets success. You get good at one thing, especially if that thing's difficult, other things in life become a little more attainable. So jujitsu's hard. You're getting beat up on a regular basis. Everyone's gonna get humbled and smashed but you get better at it and then you start winning. So that belief that you get from accomplishing tough tasks, hard tasks, help you believe in other things. Other things become a little more feasible to do and accomplish school relationships and things like that become a little more um, attainable for most people when they've overcome certain things. Most people quit when time gets tough and this gives you um, that integrity and that, that uh, mind state to keep pushing forward. I was just wanting to learn the stuff that I saw on UFC, that's the MMA competition, and, and then it developed into a lifestyle. It kept me away from vices and other things, it kept me focused on living a healthy lifestyle, ultimately led me into the military because of, I've taught you know hundreds of police officers, soldiers, Marines in foreign military, every every type of uh, military occupation you could think of, I've taught in some capacity. Um, so what what's kept me in now is it's becoming a business, and I've I've seen it change um, really thousands of people's lives over the years. So seeing that is what motivates me. Seeing a positive impact of how it helps people in their lives through martial arts it teaches them discipline, goal setting work ethic, um, it, you meet the best people. So it gives you a community. Um, just like being a soldier, you get close to your other soldiers because you're enduring difficult times. Uh, martial arts is the same thing. You're all, you're all going through some hard training together and there's a lot of trust involved that you don't really harm each other. So you, you, you become family with these people. I can tell you the people that stay with it are people that are successful or become successful. I mean, we have students from three to 70, um, all walks of life somewhere. I and mean, we have we have executives, you know, we have military, we have um, teenagers, we have recovering alcoholics and people that have been in trouble in life. They're looking for a new start and a way to recenter and focus their um, their lives. We have three locations. They're all called Revolution Dojo. You can go to www.revolutiondojo, that's D-O-J-O, dot com to see all the locations, contact information, and schedule a free class. Obviously, we offer military discount. You'll see a lot of soldiers in there. Um, it's really good for you. If you're a soldier, part of it is being fit and being a weapon without a weapon. So I could help you with that. If you're not taking time and investing yourself physically and mentally, you're really doing your, yourself and this uniform a disservice. So it could save your life. If um, you're competent in your abilities, you understand properly how to escalate force. Um, I've seen countless situations where a woman defends herself using jujitsu against a, a mugger, a thief, um, a bad person. And same thing with kids, with bullies. And, it, it's the it's the best martial arts for self-defense and that gives you a sense of belief and, and trust in yourself that I haven't seen anything else do that. It's uh, taken me all over the world. It's uh, introduced me to my wife, to my best friends, to my family, to the military. It's pretty much the reason why I ended up in the military by teaching so many uh, people in the military. Um, it's, it's made me a much more humble and successful person. I wouldn't know what I'd be doing if I wasn't doing jiu-jitsu for a living. Sergeant Jeff Messina realizes that it's quite a challenge and a balancing act being both a Texas Army National Guard soldier and an entrepreneur, but he's passionate about both. He's grateful to be able to serve his country. 
but he's also grateful to be able to serve his community in more ways than one. Um, it can be challenging at times, but the National Guard is a great supplement for an entrepreneur. It helps with my insurance. You know, having insurance for an entrepreneur is very difficult. Um, leadership will work with me when it's possible to, if I have events and things like that. Um, but it's just time management. You know, I have, I have people underneath me that can carry some of my weight when I'm gone. Um, so it's totally feasible and it's something I enjoy. It's another passion for me to follow and pursue and the leadership I learned there helps me here and vice versa. So I hear a little birdie tell me that you're a great NCO. What oh. makes you a great NCO? I care about my soldiers. I want them to, uh, I want to be the NCO that I think I need um, to them. And teach them, help them, lead them um, both in their, in their um, military career and their civilian lives. Be a soldier is to be a warrior with integrity, to do the right thing, um, to accomplish your mission, and to put others above yourself. Great. I've been to a lot of different countries across the world, met amazing people, and learned a lot about myself. And um, I want to keep going as long as I can.